Good morning, Internet. Good morning, Molly. Welcome back to the show where you ask me questions about guitars that you have. And no, wait, we've been over this. We were already over this last week. We're talking about guitars that exist and that you might have. And if you want to make them the best playing instrument that you own, then you should probably get all these parts that I'm about to talk about. Isn't that right, Benny? Benny's a little camera shy. That's okay. We are still on location here in Shamanus, BC, but it's not sunny today. It's actually super foggy and misty and kind of creepy out. So uh, we're shooting inside so that none of my stuff gets wet. And today, we're going to be talking about ESP slash LTD guitars. So get your coffee. Today we've got a lovely Canadian Broadcasting Corporation mug. So get your coffee and your LTD and or ESP. If you have both, that's, that's rad. Then get those guitars and get the internet. Actually, you probably already have the internet. Molly, do you have the internet? She doesn't know what the internet. So, for all ESP LTD guitars, if you're having tuning stability issues, a lot of them have a bone nut on there, which they are an organic material. So there can be some dead spots or uneven spots. Um, they are moderately resonant, but obviously a tusk nut which is a man-made ivory, is going to be a lot more resonant because it's a material that we made to complement the sonic range of a guitar. And it is also impregnated with Teflon, so PTFE, because Teflon's the brand nomer. Right, Dio? You're just gonna fight that string? Okay, there's dogs everywhere. What was I saying? Teflon, brand nomer. Is it a brand nomer? Yeah, that's, that's how you would use that term. It's a brand, so don't publish Teflon if you have a magazine or internet something. You want up here? Come here, bud. Oh, this is Dio. He got snipped, so he's got the cone on. Do you just want to hang out? Do you want to look at the guitars? So, upgrading to a Tusk XL nut, which is impregnated with Teflon or PTFE, so it's permanently lubricated forever. It's going to be way more resonant than any organic or any other man-made material, because this one's made for guitars, and none of the other ones are. So, if you have an ESP and you're having tuning stability issues, or if you're tuning up and you hear a little pating when you are over the nuts, then you want to go for the PT or PQL6642, and that'll be a drop-in replacement on your ESP or LTD guitar. Some of them do already have one of our nuts on there. I think there's a few signature models. I think a couple of the Korean ones as well. So check the website. Actually, I don't even know if they say tusk on their website. It'll either say bone or molded. I think they use the term molded, whether it's a plastic one or a tusk one that's on there for the specs on the website. But ESP and LTD stuff is gonna be pretty straightforward. So this might be kind of a short episode. So that covers the nuts. Also, it's available in left-handed, so 6642-L0 would be the left-handed version because they do make a few versions of guitars that are made for us left-handed people. So if you're wanting to upgrade the bridge that's on there or tailpiece, our bridges and tailpiece have a magnetic locking system, so they're not going to fall off when you're restringing your guitar or anything like that. Oh, sick. Somebody's mowing their lawn. they got little magnets that are right by the post, so... They uh, won't fall off when you're restringing the guitar, so it's not going to damage the finish or anything like that. Also, they are a very, very lightweight material. Uh, it's kind of a bunch of mixture of different alloys that we use to make them super resonant, so the vibration transfer to the body is going to be way more compared to anything else. Also, our bridges are equipped with either the alloy saddles, so very resonant uh, metal alloy saddles, so they'll retain that harshness, that 2K spike of a metal saddle, or we have them equipped with our string saver saddles, so if you have any problems with breaking strings, these will pretty much eliminate them. I know I'm supposed to say they'll drastically reduce, but I've been using the string savers for uh, years now, and I have never broken a string, unless I literally dropped it on like a cinder block, and it shattered the cinder block because my strings are still fine. They, they can't, you can't break them. If those sound like things that you want to have as features on your guitar, then you'll want to go for the PS8863 dash whatever color code you're wanting. So uh, G0 for gold or C0 for chrome, etc., etc. And for the tailpiece, uh, that will be the PS8893, same thing, dash whatever color code you're wanting. Uh, with that, you will just want to make sure that it is the metric threads on the tailpiece. We do metric and imperial because Gibson exists, so we have to make Imperial threads. But if you're getting the tailpiece for your guitar that is an ESP or LTD, just make sure that they are the metric thread posts that come with the tailpiece. 
and for any of the super strat ones that are using a more stratty uh, bridge, so a hip shot bridge or a strat style bridge, so it's the six block saddles, and you're also wanting to stop string breakage and have more resonance and sustain, and just all the awesome guitar buzzwords, it will just be better and your guitar will be better. If you want that, then go for the PS8000-00 for the Stringsaver Originals, where we have the Stringsaver Classics, which are a metal saddle with just a small insert of our Stringsaver material. So you're still gonna reduce the amount of string breakage you get, but it will retain the bite and harshness of a metal saddle if that's something you're after. Then those would be the PG 8000-0C for chrome or 0G for gold, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if you're wanting to get the best tuners that exist in the planet and probably the universe, I don't know, until aliens come and take over and then go like, yo, we made these tuners, they're better, they shoot lasers and they have different gear ratios for every string. That's the only reason that they would be cooler, is if they shot lasers. But if you're wanting the coolest tuners that exist currently, that don't shoot lasers, then our ratio tune machine heads, they have different gear ratios for each string. So when you're tuning up the guitar, every string will react the exact same, no matter which string you're on. So if it's the low E, it will react the exact same compared to the high E. They work on different string gauges as well. So if you're using a set of 10s or 11s or 12s or 13s or piano cables, doesn't matter. As long as they're a set, they will all react the exact same within relation to each other. So if you're wanting those tuners, uh, then for the three by three sets, so the Les Paul style or ones where they have one, two, three, one, two, three on each side of the headstock, those will be the PRL 8341 dash whatever color code you're wanting. And they will come with four different sets of mounting plates for free in the box out of our brushed aluminum material. So you'll have everything that you need right in the box to install them on the vast majority of guitars that use standard screw positionings. And when I say standard, I mean they're very common. ESP and LTD, they use either the same two pin mount configuration that our tuners have. So if you look on the back of the headstock and you don't see a screw, off the body of the tuner, then they will be the same two pin mount that our tuners are using. Sometimes they use just right off the center in the middle, so kind of like a Grover style. Those are included in the box, and other ones they are using a uh, 45 degree angle, so just off to one side. Those are also included for free in the box. So yeah, any ESP that you're wanting to upgrade the tuners on will have plates in the box that will adhere to the screw positioning that's on there. And for the six in line, so when you're looking at the headstock and it's just like one line of tuners, uh, it's called six in line headstock. Those will be the PRL 8721 dash whatever color code you're wanting. Uh, ESP and LTD, they do have a few models that are a reverse style headstock. So standard guitars when you are holding them, I'm left-handed so I'll pretend to be right-handed for a bit. If you're looking at the headstock and the tuners are facing up, that's standard. So like a, a Strat or most fenders will have the tuners facing the sky or facing your head. Now when they are facing the ground, and the reason why a lot of companies do that because some people find it more ergonomic. So when you are fretting and stuff, you don't have to go up to the top to adjust the tuning pegs. You can just go straight from there and do some tuning. So that's called a reverse headstock or a reverse style headstock when the tuners are facing the ground. So for that, you will need a left-handed set because they will be on the other side, the reverse, they're mirrored. Makes sense. So for that, it would be the PRL 8721-LC0 for Chrome. So just L in front of the color code. Um, there are a few, again, left-handed models that LTD and ESP make. Um, and if you are a left-handed person like myself and you have a reverse style headstock, so again, tuners are facing the ground, you will need a right-handed set. So everything I'm just, I'm saying right now, so just flip it if you're a self-paw. It's probably really straightforward. I think it's confusing because it's double negatives and everything. Anyway. All right, there's a big truck of a bunch of stuff that I have to go unpack, so I gotta go grab all the stuff. So, if you liked the video, hit the like button. It's right there. If you didn't like it, that's okay. I'm out of breath. So I told you, Benny's camera shop. I'm out of breath because I just carried like 30 cases of bubbly. If you didn't like it, that's okay. You can just hit the dislike button. If you have any suggestions, you can leave them right down below in the comment section. That's where you type things and then we read them and then we respond. Somebody commented actually when, when uh, ESP LTD is coming out. Who was that? Was that Poon Ninja? World famous Poon Ninja? If you've ever watched a guitar video on the internet, uh, go to the comment section <laughs> and you will see Poon Ninja. No, that wasn't Poon Ninja, but Poon Ninja did say Molly's cool. Hey Molly, you're famous. Hey, Molly. Poonin just said that you're cool. Did you know that? Whoa.
That's okay, you can go back to sleep. She's grumpy. Aha, yeah, okay, the dank savage asked, <laughs> when's Ibanez and LTD specs vid coming? Well, here's the LTD one, and Ibanez, maybe that's next week. So, if you want to see Ibanez next week, or something else after I forget that I said that I'm doing Ibanez next week, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications. So, anyway, like, share. Don't like and share, just like, share. Yeah, that's your homework for the week. Just go enjoy share. So, I'll see you next week. Party hard.